your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm going to change the subject here a little bit to something that I don't know anything about, which is cryptocurrencies or blockchains, but I do know charts, buy sells, that kind of stuff. Well, part of the time I do. Anyway, you can see here over the last nine years, it appears that we're making a three drive to a top pattern here in the cryptocurrencies. Uh, if you'll notice the ABCs on these big swings, that measured up to uh, 95,500. If you took the 1.618 expansion of the swing from 2022 to 2023, the 1.618 expansion on that is just a little below 100,000. If you took the high in February of this year down to the low in July, the 1.618 expansion on that one comes in at just about 96,000. So there's a lot of things happening at 96,000. So I would like to relate a story to you that is true. I've, uh, I've seen it many times, but thanks to our good friend, <clears throat> Jeff Huge at Alpha Insights. This is the South Sioux Island bubble 200 years ago, 1735, 1720, actually 1720. Isaac Newton, one of the smartest men who ever walked the planet, as per um, Albert Einstein, he went long here and he got out here and he made a lot of money. He bought it at one, one like 150 and he got out at about 350. And all of his friends got rich through here. And then he had the situation called FOMO, fear of missing out. And he went back long again, and it went way up. But look what happened when it went below his point where he would have gotten out with a loss. And he ended up being a pauper, folks. Uh, he lived well because people wanted to be around him and had a lot of uh, gifts for him and stuff. But he really didn't have any physical assets left when he finally passed away. He became the first chancellor of the exchequer in the UK. I believe it was 19, excuse me, 27, excuse me, around 1735, 1736. And, uh, but anyway, that's what's happened with that. Now, he, the reason why I'm telling you this is I see something that I've not seen before. And I'm going to bring this up to you right now. I'm going to get the chart, the chart here. Here. Uh, hold on one second here and we'll get up here to this one second and we'll be okay hold on just a minute here chart i want to get this microsoft uh not microsoft but uh master what is it called uh, uh micro trading or something like that okay here it is right here i want to get this up here <clears throat> this is the uh <clears throat> excuse me oh my goodness excuse me folks hold on here this is micro strategy this is uh, michael sailor's company okay now i want i want you to see this now folks because it's really going to be hard to believe okay there's the action that happened on the 21st okay that was last thursday you can see the market went from 542 dropped 300 points Excuse me, down to here, that distance, let's just get this so we can see. That. To me, this is important. I don't know, maybe it's not important. But. Okay. Market came down and rallied up to the 382 retracement today. This day right here, folks, uh, you got to, this is going to be hard to believe. They had 100 million shares. The volume was 100 million, okay, on that micro strategy that day with the market going up 200, being down 200. 100 million now if it's trading at 400 and you multiply 100 million times 400 that comes out to 40 billion now 40 billion is a lot of money you can eat out a couple nights a week on that and as you can see here what we've done here is just make this beautiful abcd here we rallied back to just about the 3a2 much lighter volume so if this is really real and I don't know if it is or not. The fact that it's doing it is an indication that, yes, maybe the cryptos would have done that. So I, 
I, I said that, you know, I, I brought this to everybody's attention just to learning purposes. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I have this marked here at 360 because at 360, everybody that bought it in here would be losing. And it's not very far away. It's only 40 bucks. So I'm bringing that to your attention because I see signs that this market has had a little bit of a run that may or may not mean very much or not. I'm not actually sure, but that's what we're going to be watching here uh, right now. So let's keep that in mind as we're watching these things here today. Now, we had a situation in the euro over the night, and I think I brought this to everybody's attention here. Move this around a little bit. You can see here's where we were on the trading day. We bought the euro right here. Uh, right there, we bought it at 390. It rallied a little over $1,500. But look at the swings that are here, folks, uh, in the euro today. The ABCD swings measured right to the exact number. And if you looked at these smaller ABCDs, and this is why the euro is so important to trade, is because it follows these number sequences so beautifully. And then you can see there's your smaller ABCD right here. We have another ABCD down. And so it's 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 really got a chance here on this euro because if you look at this on the long term weekly, there was your ABCD down in here, folks, just right below that 104. Got to 103.40 for a, for a heartbeat, and I mean a heartbeat because you've looked at this on an hourly chart. You can see that this was the heartbeat right here. Boom, bang, and that was it. That's why we were looking to be a buyer on this, and that's where we bought it. Right here during the trading session on Friday. Remember, this is an hourly chart. There's where we were. We had a beautiful little ABCD right there. And we bought it there. And that's had a really big run uh, to the upside. So that's kind of the thing that we're, that's we're waiting to see here if, in fact, that uh, holds up really well. Also, in the, on the news last night, on the, excuse me, on the video that I sent out last night, we were looking. Uh, I'll bring this gold chart up so you'll see it here in just a second. This was one. This was a really big one here. This is small term. Let's go to the hourly chart, and then I want to move over. There's where we were here, and I said, look for a 3.82 retracement here. And there it is right there, actually 50%. The 382 is here. It goes above it by $5. 20, 2685 was a 382. High was 2690. But this is the one that I really alerted everybody to. And that is, I said, watch this thing because if it breaks, it's going to have a 382 retracement. So all I did here, looking at this, move this over. And there it is right there, folks. Let's get this over here so we can see it. There it was. This was Sunday night. There it is right there. That's a perfect ABCD coming in at 2705. It is absolutely perfect. Look at this. 2705. The high was 270650. This took almost an hour to complete. And then, of course, down we came. And then we had another 382 that came in right up here at 28, uh, excuse me, at 26, uh, 2682. The high was 2690. And you can see it's still going down. As we speak, we're now at 26.25 and we're still dropping. That's what we we're trying to do. But folks, when the euro did what it's supposed to do on Friday, it was triggering that something really big was happening in these financial markets. And I think I'm going to have to wait to get back to you on that. And when we do, you're going to be interested to see. I think we'll be right back. <clears throat> Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters 
letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 Days Risk-Free today. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, this is the Treasury bonds that we were talking about just a moment ago. And uh, once I saw what was happening with the currencies, especially the euro and the U.S. dollar. And if you remember, over the past few weeks here, we've been talking about this move here. Just get this up here in the U.S. dollar. You'll be able to see it quite clearly. Well, at least you do if you're looking at uh, pattern recognition, A, B, C, D. And that's what we try to do here. We'll get this up here on the daily and you'll be able to see there's where we are. There's a daily move right here. And as you can see here, we've been watching this dollar index. Okay, now this is the upside down version, okay, of the euro. And you can see here, we had this move right here. There's your A, B, C, D pattern right up here. Looking at this on the longer term daily, if you go back and look at this out, let's get this out. Let's look at that on the weekly. That way it'll don't have to squeeze it up much. Okay, there's where you are. You see, you've taken out all the highs in here, went up. There's your, you can see there was the ABCD to the downside. We have this big run up right now. Now, if we take a look at this over the last hourly trades, you'll be able to see that we did make an ABCD pattern up here. Now, this is all the pullback we had here in the dollar index. This is just a period of about seven or eight days. It backed off virtually nothing, but that gave us this big move to the upside. So when you look at this on the daily, you're going to see it move it over here like this, Lair, and you're going to be able to see there's your A, B, C, D pattern coming up in here. And you can see we've taken out the lows of the last couple of days. That means we're definitely going to have a correction in here. How much? We don't know. But when you see something like this, this is money starting to move. So that meant the bonds were going to be ready to be a buy. So let's just take a look at these bonds here. We're going to put the uh, hourly chart up here to let you see where we were. There's where we were on Friday. See, folks, we were wanting to buy them here, right? Well, boys and girls, that didn't happen, except in the video that I sent, I said, look, this is before they gapped up. This was this was Sunday. I sent this out on Friday. I said, they're most probably going to gap up. I said, so let's use something that we know works for us. And that is, let's go back and take the last previous low that we had and see if it backs off to a 382. And I, 
I, I, I did it off of this one here. What did I do wrong here? I know I did this right. Hold on just a second here. Oh, I know what. This is the low that we had last week right here. That was a lower low. That's the acting. This was the 21st. This is the one I did. I said, we're going to back off the previous day's low, which was right there. And there was your 382 coming in just about filling this gap. And look at this, folks. $1,500 straight up with virtually no nothing. I mean, just absolutely uh, just straight up. So he took the low of last week, which was the 21st, and boom, there it went. And we'll get up to this area. But this has got a chance now because we're having a big run now. Remember, this is the the big uh, 786 down in here. And so that's what uh, that's why we're we're looking at that level right here. That's going to tell us that the Treasury bonds, uh, Norm Winsky is going to be our guest here, folks. But look at this over the next few days, what you're going to be watching here in the bonds, because they're going to get up. We're almost, we just did it. My goodness, there's the ABCD on that one right there. And another one right behind it, that's the one from right here. And uh, we're getting ready to, oh my goodness, we might have a little bit of trouble up here at this 118 level. But when we get above this, boy, that'd be smooth sailing, I would think. So want to watch that one for sure. Looks going to be uh, really interesting to see if it's going to do that. But the euro, all of them are moving pretty good. And, of course, the gold that we looked at, there just it's just falling out of bed. It doesn't have any friends at all anymore. You see the little tiny ABCD rally we had right here, and it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping, and we're almost down to the 1.618 expansion of that big move. Let's put this up on a smaller, a larger time frame, and you'll, you'll be able to see that how did that moving average get in there somebody's been sneaking around in my computer there's the abcd structure hold on folks let me get rid of this and uh, where is that oh it's a simple uh, how did that moving average? i don't use moving averages and most you know anyway there's your abcd your 1.618 expansion comes in right where we're trading right now folks 2620 it should hold it right here I mean, within a couple of dollars, because anything below that is we're looking at something really quite nasty. But looking at gold last night, when I sent this out, uh, there was the first 382 right here. Then it came down. Look at this. Another 382 right here. It's 83. Stop goes $10 or above the 50 percent. Went against here for about an hour or so. And look at it right now, folks. 70 handles to the downside. And it's still breaking. We're breaking below the 1.618. This tells you that this market for gold looks pretty bad. And we were also talking about it on the video was to take a look at the silver market because silver was doing the same thing, only it was much weaker the whole time. So let's get the December silver up here on this hourly chart, and you'll be able to see where we are. There it is right now. And here's the silver for, uh, this was the ABC to measure right here. This completed that pattern right there, folks. That ABCD, move this over so you'll be able to see it. It was right on, spot on. There it is right there. And what did we do? We rallied up a little bit. Now, how much did we rally? We're going to blow this up and see if this was a 382. And if it was, I think that would be important to know this, don't you think? So we go down from the high right here. And there's your low right here. And the 382 comes in at 3095. And the high was 3093. It missed it by two cents. It took out this high by one cent and missed the 382 by two cents. And we are down 80 cents, $4,000 in silver. And it's still dropping. So that's it. The main thing to look at for today's market, folks, is the fact that we hit that big Daddy Rabbit, let's get this SPY up here so you can see it itself. There it is right now. Move it out of the way. We took out the high of last week on the 11th, right after the election. You see where it went? 0.04. That means this high here was 60 point, oh, a little bit higher than I thought. They did make a higher high. 60.86 was the high here. The high here was 60.17. Okay. And look, we've had a pretty good break now. It's rallying back a little bit from that uh, earlier morning low. We'll look at this to see where we are. Yeah, we came down, went down to test that low. Oh, dear, that might have just been a 382. Let's just double check that for kicks and giggles. There's the ABCD right here. And holy cow, there's your 382 off of that rural spot right here. And here was your ABCD this morning to take a look at. There's your AB leg right here. Whoops, the wrong one. 
put out a new peaky, uh, Cupid doll, and we'll get this up here and running here. Hold on one second. There's your A, B leg right here. There's your C, D leg coming up here. 59.90. We went gapped above it. You can see there was a huge gap this morning. Now we're coming down, and what we're doing right now is that we are bouncing back. Uh, to see if this 382 is going to mean anything right here. Since we're doing that, let's, since we've got a couple of seconds here, let's look at the old stop and P to see how much it's rallying back. Okay, so we'll get this out of the way here. And uh, where is it? Right here. Here we are. There's a, there's a stock market right here, S&P. Oh, boy, this is going to be interesting to see if this one works. There's our high way back here. And our threes coming in. Knock on wood, right there, 603. We're trading there now. Son of a gun. I wonder if that means anything or not. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But I knew one thing for sure. Norm Winsky's our guest today. He'll be right with us, so stay tuned. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. 
Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, I'm pleased to announce that we have Norm Winsky in the house. Norman, how are you doing, my friend? Great. Thanks for having, thanks for having me on, Larry. My pleasure, my friend. Please start up and tell us what we're looking at today, and then I have two questions for you when we get into it a little bit later, okay? Great. Sure. Uh, before I dive into my stuff here, I just want to comment. You were showing the uh, uh, South Seas bubble earlier, right? Yes. Yeah. And I... I don't know if you know this or not. It took me. I looked at. Yeah, I studied the bubbles and I did connect the dots. But here's a really interesting thing. At the same time, the South Seas bubble, France was having the Mississippi bubble. These two, two, two countries were at war with each other. They were trying to kill each other. They probably weren't talking to each other. They didn't have email, you know. And so, uh, <laughs> you know, it's pretty interesting that they independently were doing pretty much the same thing, you know. Right? Mm -hmm. Act, you know, the sheep in both countries were acting crazy, right? There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's my comment. Any, any thoughts on that? Sounds pretty good to me. I don't know okay, much about France. I know a little my, uh, bit about the England, so not too much. But I did study a little bit about Isaac Newton. <laughs> One thing about Isaac Newton, <coughs> excuse me, he had a uh, headboard, an oak headboard on his bed. And on engraved on that headboard was the Fibonacci spiral, you know, the spiral mirabilis. That was, uh -huh. uh, Donna, that was on his bed, yep. Used to be in Wellesley College. Uh, but they sold it to somebody else. I don't. Did you buy it, Norm? No, sir. But I did. Uh, when you mentioned this a few years back, I did research it. I think I found found the location of that. But we'll we'll talk about that later. Okay. You got it. Let's hear. Folks are interested in what's going to happen next, my friend. So please continue. There you go. Well, before we do that, I was last on your show on November the 11th, and I made uh, some four, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, cycle forecast, okay? So we're going to talk about that. On the night of the 14th, AC, uh, my notes here, is after the close. So the planets don't go home at 5 o'clock, you know, so they're working 24-7. So they're doing stuff. Uh, usually, two-thirds of the time, uh, they're doing things overnight, you know? So mm -hmm. Saturn was turning direct. That's the opposite of retrograde. By the way, if you'd like any help with any of these technical terms, give me a call. I'm running a holiday special free individual class you could talk to me on the phone or on skype and i'll be happy to answer your questions so saturn in pisces turn direct on the night of the 14th and we'll be looking at coffee which is saturn and oil that's pisces then on the night of the 15th and then the way as you will see the my methodology is when something happens overnight we look for the market to turn the next morning. Okay, so anyway, we had a full moon. The night of the 15th, the 15th was a, where's my calendar there? That, that's a weekend. So over the weekend of the 15th, we had a full moon in the sign of Taurus the bull. Well, anytime we have a full moon, new moon, we want to look at financial scringe, precious metals, oil, and because it is Taurus the bull, we want to look at cattle and cotton. And then also, the, oh, that weekend we had the triple whammy change in trend. We had three big things happening that weekend, the weekend of the 15th. And then we had Mercury, maximum elongation of Mercury cycle. Anytime you have Mercury, you ought to be looking at the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then we had Uranus perigee. And the Uranus is in the sign of Taurus a bull. So that's cattle, cotton, and because it's Uranus, we want to look at copper. And then the night of the 19th into the 20th, we had Pluto changing the signs. Pluto is a very slow-moving planet, so this doesn't happen very often, to say the least. It went into the sign of Aquarius, and we're going to be looking at cattle, cocoa, copper, corn, cotton, gold, hogs, sugar, tea, bonds, and wheat. So here are the charts now. Here's the corn. We had three points for corn. We had, uh, that's the... Uh, Oh, Pluto <clears throat> into the, um, oh, Pluto's over here. Oh, that's the moon. Let's see, we had the moon, we had, oh, I had Mer the moon and Mercury, and the uh, corn didn't care. It, it went higher. I have to be right. 
within one day. Well, I was kind of right within one day, but the drawdown here was too much, so I marked it as a miss, you know, the timing-wise. Okay. If you just look at the days, I was one day early. That'd be okay, <laughs> but if it's a bad entry, then it gets uh, uh, marked a miss. Then we pulled back into there, and you had a chance to make a, a little bit of a, a little bit of money there if you bought there. Okay, so here soybeans were a little better. We rallied into the Mercury Moon window there, and it made it went slightly higher the next day, and then down, down, down. So that was good. Here's wheat. Wheat did kind of the same thing as corn. You had this window here with the Mercury and the Moon, and it went higher, and so that's not good. But if you bought here on this pullback, then you had a chance to make a small profit. Hold on, my computer is taking a coffee break. It got the hourglass up there. I don't know why. Hold on, I apologize. Well, I don't know what's going on. There we go. Please come back to work, Mr. Computer. Okay, here's <laughs> cattle. Cattle was very, very good. You had a pullback into our uh, let's see, cattle, cattle. I'm looking at my... Oh, yeah, that was the new moon. I'm sorry, the full moon in Taurus. Taurus the bull. That might be cattle. Look at that. You pull back right in. There's the window. Uh, the weekend of the 15th. There's the opening on the 18th. If you bought there, you're buying near that low. And you had a huge rally there for the next two days. And then we topped out right on the uh, Pluto in the uh, exchanging sign. Went into a quarter. That's 90 degrees from Taurus the bull. Right there, and so then that made a top. So that was a beautiful thing. That's about four handles there, about sixteen hundred dollars, I think. You know, going to pull back about a handle and a half or so. Here's the cotton, and very also nice. Same things, same window as the uh, cattle. You pull back into the full moon in Taurus, and the next day is the low, and then it had a little pull back here. Oh, well, still there. We basically straddled the low day. Uh, the 19th, and if you bought there, then you did really, really well because every handle of cotton is $500, and that's about four, three or four handles. Or see, 68. Uh, yeah. So that's about three, three over three and a half, four handles. There you go. Here's coffee. Had a pull back here. It doesn't look like much because the bars got squished due, due to this huge move going on. The coffee, coffee is near the new, uh, uh, near the all-time high. Back to, I think it was 1977-78, when it got the 339, we're trading we recently, I don't know where we are right now, but as of Friday, we were over 300. So there we go. Well, you had a pullback here. That's about 10 handles there. That's $3,750. And then it rallied up to, it rallied fit. If you bought there, you had a chance to immediately make 15 handles, which is about five grand in about a day. Yep. We're going to take a break, folks. We've got to pay a few bills. Norm Winsky, Astro <coughs> Trends, hold on, please. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're back with Norm Winsky of Astro Trends. Please continue, Norm. Thank you, Larry. Okay. Coffee, now we're moving ahead. Going to look at sugar. We had one point for sugar when Pluto... Went into Aquarius, change signs. That's right there. And if you sold there, it gets that high. Uh, you would have made about, it looks like about 80 cents. That's about $900 in sugar. Here's cocoa. It rallied up into our Pluto point there. And that was good for Pluto. As you know, went crazy last year, Larry. It used to be a 2,000 market. Now it's an 8,000 market. And it got to 12,000, I think, on the blow off last year. And so it was so if you sold there at about 8700 it dropped to about about 400 points I think that's about four thousand dollars you know in about one day so that's pretty good wow that's a big move you bet here's the hoggies looking for a trough and a little <laughs> hog joke <laughs> yeah, it, joke. It, very little go ahead <laughs> okay so anyway the, there's the low there on the, a lot of these markets made a low right on uh, right around the Pluto changing signs if you notice the 19th so if you bought against that low there the next morning up up uh, the piggies ran up to let's see you're looking at about 79 and three quarters up to about 81 and three quarters so that's uh, about two handles about the eight hundred dollars that's a lot of bacon you know right there we go Here's the oil rallied up into our uh, moon. Uh, yep, that's the, moon, the full moon. And you see, if you sold against that high there, oh no, no, that's wait, wait. Let me check that. I think I told you something wrong. No, no, I take that back. I, uh, sorry. Uh, that's Saturn uh, turning direct in Pisces. That's what that is right there. And if you sold there on the opening of the 15th, you would have been happy because that's uh, 68.50 area. Down to 66.50. That's two handles, or about to, down to our next point. It's about two thousand dollars, and then it got even better. If you bought there, we nailed below there. On the uh, that was uh, oil is uh, look at my grid here. Uh, the full moon, yeah, the full moon. If you bought on the full moon there on the morning of the 18th, it was huge. You got uh, 68, 66.50. Up to about there's you touch 7150, so we'll call it three handles. That's three thousand dollars. So in a short amount of time, you had an opportunity to make a I think that's about adds up to about five grand. You know what I mean? All right, here's copper. You pull back into our uh, 
Uh, let's see, what do we have there on the uh, uh, copper, copper, copper? Looking at my, my program here, my notes. Uh, where co here's copper. Okay, we had the uh, Uranus. Oh, that's Uranus. It's something over the 15th weekend there. So you, if you bought there, you would have been happy because then it rallied up into Pluto going to Aquarius. You know, Uranus rules Aquarius, so there that's the connection between those two. And there was a low, and there was a high. And every handle in copper, by the way, is every penny is $250. So that, there's a lot of money there. That uh, looks like about $0.10 cents from the low to the high. And so that's about uh, $2,500 right there. And then back down for a little bit less, uh, probably about two grand there, you know. Okay, so that's about $4,500 there. Here's the silver just going sideways. We don't do sideways. That's Newton's law. By the way, speaking of Newton, <laughs> where reaction and opposite reaction and the opposite of sideways is just more sideways. It's the mirror effect, you know, the mirror effect. Here's gold going sideways into the moon. That was the moon here on the silver. Here's the moon on the gold. But so we did nothing. And then here we had a miss on the gold. It just kept going higher when Pluto changed signs. Here's S&P. We did very well. Four out of five. Here's your everything applies. All these cycles apply to the stock market. And there and we had Saturn there. That was a miss because it had too much drawdown. The timing, the you know in terms of picking a day wasn't too bad. You were right. You were right on the low, right on the low there. But if you got in there on the opening, too much drawdown. But here we had the triple whammy window over the 15th weekend into the morning of the 18th. If you bought there, you would have. If you hung in there, you would have been pretty happy because by you know either you got out here, and you made uh, minimum uh, let's see about fifty eight sixty up to about that's about fifty sixty handles there, uh, yeah. About, and, oh. Or you got uh, if you weren't here, obviously you made more money over here. We had the Pluto change sign there, and in the day you had a big drop there, you know. All right, here's the T-bonds. We did nothing in the T-bonds because every time we got to a window, it was either confusing or sideways. That's sideways. And we be, would have been looking probably for a sell here, but then it dropped uh, on the opening too much, and now you're in the middle of this bar here. So that you know, you're actually below the middle of the bar. So that's not good. So we took a pass there. A dollar just going sideways. Some of the currencies, those were pretty nice. Aussie dollar, there you go. You're right near the lows on the Aussie dollar, and it, and the bounced up there like a kangaroo, you know. There you go. And the British pound, there we go, right on the lows there for the pound. And here's your Canadian dollar. That's beautiful. Right on the right on the moon there. You bought there. You would have been very happy. And the euro went sideways. And the Japanese yen. Uh, you had a chance to make a short term. Uh, a sell there it makes a little bit of money there on the intraday so if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows you got 24 winners six misses out of 30 80 percent winners that's pretty good you know right so mm -hmm. and here's what's coming up in the future do we have time for this before the commercial we sure, we sure do we got two minutes to go so please Thanks, continue excellent. you timed it perfectly larry okay so we <laughs> So uh, at tonight, 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 <coughs> the 25th of November, Mercury in Sagittarius is turning retrograde. I think most of your listeners are familiar with Mercury retrograde. Anytime we have Mercury, by the way, I'll repeat, stocks potentially respond to all events. And what are we looking for? We're looking for those market, these markets that are indicated that are at an extreme. We like want to see some big swing into the, our window here, our time window. Is the ideal scenario. Uh, so, okay, so if it's just chopping back and forth, going sideways, that's not good. Probably not going to be a good trade. Mercury retrograde, we want to, anytime we have mercury, we want to look at grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And then uh, at next weekend, we have a new moon in the sign of Sagittarius. So we'll be looking at financial grains, precious metals, soybeans, and oil. And also that same weekend, we have a Mercury cycle, and you might remember, Larry, when the moon and the Mercury line up like this, some big, two big cycles, that's usually something pretty big. And we have corn, soybeans, wheat, and, of course, watch the stock market then. And here's 
how I can here's how my qualifications I help the folks if you don't know me I've been doing this a long time I started in college back in the early 70s and then I went to did it well enough to buy a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange which was a brand new exchange and uh, Norm, thanks for joining us, buddy. Put your last step. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Norm Winsky, Astro Trans, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Norm wants to make a little uh, announcement. Please, Norm, go ahead, please. Well, I was just telling you know, some of the folks that might be new, may not know me, they know I've been doing this. Actually, I need to update my bio here. It says 45 years. Next year, it'll be 50 years. I started on the CBOE back in 1975. I also did the border trade. I was there for 12 years. I was trading my own money. Now, I wasn't brokering. I was trading my own money. I was a market maker there on the CBOE and survived for 12 years. Anyway, so the, we're going to get to my contact info now and the questions. Here's my contact info. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, if you think you're looking at this, oh, gee, Norm, that's interesting, but I couldn't learn that. Think again. Nothing I'm doing is over a fifth grade level. It's all, it's all just learning some new term, you know, terminology. There's no advanced math, nothing like that, or I couldn't do it. 
Okay, uh, there's my contact. You can call me here in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939, 239-594-3939, or you can call me on Skype, nwinskiayahoo.com. That's N-W-I-N-S-K-I, yahoo.com. Or you can send me an email, and I'll be happy to correspond with you. I'll give you a holiday special, free class, free reports. Please give me a call right away before we get into the holidays here and you get busy. This would be a good day, good time to call me in the next day or two. It would be ideal. Okay, Larry, what's the Tiger Den questions? Uh, we haven't got much time, but we'll, the next time you come on, I'll have it written down and we'll do it then, okay? Because it's going to take a little bit longer to answer those questions than, than we have right now. We've only got a few seconds left. But thanks for All joining right. us. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving with you and Pat. And uh, William, will he be joining Is William in college now or is he out of college? No, he's out. He's out. Is, is he, he working yet? Bi- he got a degree in biomedical engineering. So, Larry, Ooh, wow, if you need any body parts, he might be able to help you. I need a lot of them. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and Jeff Huge will be our guest tomorrow, folks, so may God bless. Bye.